स्टूडेंट हेयर यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न लिमिटेशन ऑफ ओम्स लॉ दिस मीन दैट वेयर ओम्स लॉ इज नॉट वैलिड यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न वेयर ओम्स लॉ इज नॉट वैलिड सच टाइप ऑफ कंडक्टर आर सेट टू बी नॉन ओमिक कंडक्टर नॉन ओमिक कंडक्टर आर दो कंडक्टर विच डज नॉट ओबे ओम्स लॉ What are the limitation of Ohm's law? There are basically three limitation of Ohm's law. You are going to learn one by one. Number first limitation. Suppose I am I have drawn here I V graph, I on the x-axis and V on the y-axis. Then we know that for Ohm's law the graph is a straight line. But this graph for metallic conductor is not a straight line. It will be straight line only theoretically. If you practically draw the graph. then this graph have a nature of a straight line up to few distance it will be a straight line up to few distance after that the graph will be curve this is the theoretical graph theoretical graph and this is the experimental graph this is experimental graph what this experimental graph suggest the experimental graph suggests that v ceases to be proportional to i with increase in temperature if you have a metallic conductor and if you increase the temperature of metallic conductor then we all know that with increase in metallic conductor increase in temperature increase in temperature of metallic conductor resistivity increases if resistivity will increases then resistance will increases if resistance will increases then voltage and current will be not proportional they will differ so number first is v that is voltage ceases to be proportional to current for metallic conductor with rise in temperature if you rise the temperature of metallic conductor then v proportional to i is not valid this is said to be the first limitation of ohm's law for second limitation you have to know about a diode till now i know that you don't know what is diode but diode are made up from, from semiconductor you must have the knowledge of n type and p type semiconductor when n type and p type semiconductor are kept on the same silicon chip suppose this is n type this is p type on same silicon chip they are fabricated then this is said to be a diode if you have a diode and you plot the graph of a diode for ohm's law then you find the graph for the diode it have a nature like this here this is said to be i in milliampere this is forward voltage voltage or you can say forward voltage in volt this is reverse voltage and this is i in microampere so if you have a diode and suppose this is a diode this marker is diode then this diode have p type this side and n type this side if you connect it with a battery source and a voltmeter and a ammeter then you draw the graph then the graph have this type of nature if this is forward biasing if you turn this diode and you draw the same graph then the graph have this type of nature this is said to be reverse biasing forward biasing means if you have a diode then p type of the diode is connected to positive terminal and n type of the diode is connected to negative terminal then the connection is said to be forward biasing in forward biasing we have a upward graph rising nature and in reverse biasing p type is connected to negative terminal of battery and n type is connected to positive terminal of battery so we have a negative graph on the third axis so in this we are saying that ki voltage and current have not the same relation voltage and current have different relation for diode voltage and current 
आर वॉट इज इन करेंट हैव डिफरेंट रिलेशन फॉर फॉरवर्ड एंड रिवर्स बायस्ड डायोड एज सोन हेयर सो डायोड डज नॉट ओबे होम स्लो डायोड ऑल्सो नॉट ओबे होम स्लो नॉ द थर्ड इज इफ यू हैव अलॉय ऑफ गैलियम अर्सेनिक यू नो जी ए इज गैलियम एंड ए एस इज अर्सेनिक गैलियम अर्सेनिक जी ए ए एस नोट डाउन दिस दिस इज सेट टू बी गैलियम अर्सेनिक If you have gallium arsenic and if you made a wire of gallium arsenic and this wire is connected to a battery source along with a voltage uh, along with a uh, voltmeter and a milliampmeter then the nature of the graph for gallium arsenic is entirely different this is the nature of the graph for gallium arsenic see the nature this is the nature of the graph for gallium arsenic this is the nature of the graph here we have place b and here we have place i milli ampere what the graph suggest the graph suggest is from o to a from o to a this is a linear relation and from a to b this is a curve relation downward and from b to c this is again a upward relation and if i take a dotted line on this point let us we see here this point then this is said to be v1 this is said to be v2 and this is said to be v3 v1 v2 v3 are three different voltage but the current here is i this mean that gallium arsenic have same current at different voltages same current at different voltages so gallium arsenic does not obey ohms law it does not obey ohms law here oa linear relation ab this is curve relation and bc negative relation so what you have learned you have learned that gallium ga 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 gallium as arsenic does not have unique v and i relation so when ever you talk about limitation of ohms law you must pictureize the three things that number first we it increase in temperature of the graph v and i is not a straight line it bends at high temperature number second is for diode the graph is not same the relation of diode changes by changing the polarity of the diode and the third is very important which is come in many examinations that gallium and arsenic are the alloy of gallium and arsenic which have different voltages at same current this is the limitation of ohms law and such type of materials are said to be non ohmic material thank you